I'll be honest, I wasn't actually shocked by what I'm about to share with you. It kind of makes sense when we think about the body and how much it can handle before it breaks. Similar to our body having a toxic burden, I feel like we also have a stress burden. This capacity of how much we can actually handle before things start falling apart. All right, so a week ago, inside of my Facebook group, I'll link it down below, I asked a question, I'm always polling the women in my group to see if there's like a common theme in regards to the questions that I'm asking. So I asked something like, you know, looking back, do you feel like something triggered your breast implant illness symptoms? Like did something happen in your life and then you feel like things started to pop up in regards to symptoms? And there was definitely a common theme um, inside the group. And so we're gonna get into that today. I'm gonna start with number eight, which is gonna be like the least most common trigger that women have said. Um, and then we're gonna go down to number one, which is gonna be the most common trigger that women have said that looking back, they feel like that is what triggered breast implant illness. So make sure that you stay till the end. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. If things like this, learning about breast implants, breast implant illness, how to prepare for and recover from an explant surgery and loving your body while going through it all is something that really interests you. There's no way I'm gonna remember all eight in order, so I have my little notes over here. But number eight, and this was mentioned a couple times in the thread, uh, they said that fitness competitions and over-exhausting the body is something that they feel like triggered breast implant illness. So I can actually relate to this because in 2014, I just got done competing in a fitness competition at the end of September. By mid-October, so like a couple weeks after my last competition that I ever did, um, I started to experience a swollen lymph node underneath my right armpit. I talk about this in my breast implant illness story, which you can find on this channel. Um, I think it's called like my three-year updates, my entire breast implant illness story. But I feel like this is something that actually triggered my breast implant illness as well. Cause right after my fitness competition is when like everything started to go downhill and like pretty quickly too. So within like six months, I had a swollen lymph node. I was losing a lot of hair. My hip joint hurt. Um, I had blurry vision. I was experiencing anxiety and depression. This all happened within six months after my fitness competition. And I never had any of this before it. So I can definitely relate to the women who commented and said, I feel like after I did fitness competitions um, or when I was just like over exercising or overdoing it, I feel like that's when I could feel like breast implant illness got triggered for me. If I had to think about it, I would say it's probably because our immune systems are weakened. Like when you compete for a fitness competition, you're really stressing your body, you're pushing your body, you're not eating when your body is telling you to eat, you're exercising when your body is telling you to rest. So um, this can just really tax your adrenals, tax your cortisol, your stress, your hormones is what I'm trying to say, um, and really just throw you for a loop. I know this firsthand, so that is number eight. Number seven is detoxing while they still had the breast implants in. Um, and again, I feel like, and this is why we don't really uh, recommend detoxing until after you explant, um, because when you do a detox, you are essentially pushing toxins out of your cells, out of your tissues, you know, out of organs, and you're getting them circulating throughout your body. Well, if you still have breast implants inside of you while doing a detox, um, you could potentially pull toxins from your breast implants and heavy metals from your breast implants. So you definitely don't want to do any kind of detoxing, whether it's a tea, a protocol, I mean, even saunas and jacuzzis um, and taking really hot baths. I've had a lot of women say like they noticed they just did not feel good after they did those things. And we actually had a little discussion of this inside of my Facebook group as well where I feel like the breast implant 
uh, manufacturers never really studied their breast implants inside of a really hot environment, like, you know, inside of saunas or when we soak them in jacuzzis, right? And we're like really raising our body temperature um, and the temperature around us. So, um, you know, any kind of detox that can push toxins, which is the whole point of a detox, um, but any kind of detox can take from your implants. And again, that's just gonna make you feel icky. And if you don't actually detox the right way, which come to me if you need help with that, but if you don't detox the right way, what could actually happen is you will have something called a retox. And what happens is those toxins that got pushed out and circulated, um, if they never actually got eliminated from the body, they could get pushed even further into your cells and into your tissues um, and just make detoxing the next time even harder. So there is a right way to detox and you definitely don't wanna be doing any kind of detoxing before your explant surgery. Number six, and quite a few women actually said this, um, the day that they put their breast implants in, they felt different. Like they felt like within a month, they could just feel something was up with their body. Um, again, and some said just getting them in is what triggered it. And when I think about this, my immediate, my immediate thought goes to, um, do you have the MTHFR gene mutation? Because if you do have the MTHFR gene mutation, then your body has a harder time processing and eliminating toxins. And what are the breast implants made out of? Nothing but toxins and heavy metals. You know, if you happen to put your breast implants in, you get a breast augmentation and you just kind of feel off immediately and it never goes away, you know, definitely look into getting tested for the MTHFRG mutation because we do find out a lot of women who have breast implant illness do have that gene mutation, which kind of makes sense because you put the toxins inside of your body and then your body has a harder time processing those toxins and eliminating them. Um, so we do find that, that women who do have that gene mutation happen to get sicker faster. Number five, a lot of women said that after they had their second set put in, they noticed like things started to change with their body. They started to have a lot more fatigue, a lot more brain fog, joint pain, hair loss, like all these breast implant illness symptoms started to come in. The thing about, you know, having all of these um, different breast augmentations and like switching out your breast implants is that chances are with each breast implant removal and then, you know, the, the introduction of new breast implants, you aren't getting the capsule taken out. Um, and that capsule is scar tissue. It's very inflammatory tissue and it can and most likely does, I have to say potentially though, does harbor all of the chemicals and the heavy metals from the breast implants like in that capsule. And so some women have multiple capsules in their body, especially if you had like your first set under the muscle and then you got your second set over the muscle, there will be a set of capsules most likely under your muscle and then another set over your muscle during the time of your explant. If you have had multiple sets and you have had multiple placements in your body, it's definitely really important to tell your explant surgeon that because they might have to go in and actually like find a whole nother set of um, capsules inside of you as they're doing uh, your breast explant. Number four, women said that when they got sick or when they got the, you know, the thing, um, they started to notice that their health declined. Um, they just couldn't bounce back quick. They stayed sick for longer. They still haven't recovered from it. So anytime your immune system is taxed, um, anytime you introduce something foreign into your body, that's gonna trigger an immune system response. And sometimes it can be a good thing, but sometimes it can really just send uh, your whole body and your system and especially your immune system just completely haywire. That was another very common um, comment when I asked women like what triggered your breast implant illness symptoms was, you know, after I got COVID or after I got the jab or after I got sick, um, one person even said after I got Zika virus um, back in 2006. So. You know, I guess it's anytime the immune system really got compromised by some kind of bug, um, they noticed like that's when things really started to go downhill for them. So now we're gonna get into the top three 
most common triggers that really set off um, breast implant illness symptoms the most. Number three is shortly after their breast implants started to leak or shortly after they found out that they had a rupture um, is when they felt like all their symptoms were coming up. So this would make total sense again, um, if something is leaking inside of you, if your breast implant, your silicone breast implant is ruptured, um, again, those toxins and those chemicals and those heavy metals are mush, they're loose. I feel like the capsule is not gonna hold in those toxins as well as you having an intact breast implant. So number three, if it's ruptured or if it's leaking, that could be an indicator of setting off some breast implant illness symptoms. Number two, and this is what actually set off my breast implant illness symptoms, like from the start, uh, pregnancy, giving birth, having a baby, everything else around that. So definitely pregnancy. I've talked about this on podcasts. I've talked about it on my channel, but I feel like after I gave birth to my son, that's when I really started to notice like I've had a lot of brain fog and a lot of fatigue. And I just chalked it up to being pregnant. I just gave birth, you know, um, hormones and all of that. But after I gave birth, like none of those things ever went away. The fatigue and the brain fog just kept getting worse. And then in 2014, after my fitness competition, that's just kind of when things really went downhill really fast for me. But I can't even tell you how many women, when they responded, they said pregnancy. Pregnancy, pregnancy is what triggered their breast implant illness symptoms. Which brings us to number one, stress. Stress. That was the most common uh, comment underneath the thread was like stress, emotional stress, the stress of getting a divorce, the stress of a stress of a loved one dying, just overall emotional stress, physical stress, which could be, you know, from the pregnancy, which is probably number two and why stress and pregnancy are kind of so uh, close together. But yeah, unexpected death, traumatic event, divorce, like all of that, women feel like that's like the big thing that really triggered their breast implant illness. Like looking back, they felt like they went through that very stressful period of time and everything just started piling on symptoms wise. Kind of get in tune with your body. I feel like as women, we're so in tune with our body. We know when something's wrong. We know when something's off. We know what feels right and what doesn't. And so, you know, fitness competitions, detoxing while having breast implants in the day, you get the breast implants, which makes sense because when you get breast implants, it does send off an immune and an inflammatory response, like automatically. Nobody's immune to that. It's just basic human physiology. It's how the body works. They're foreign objects. They're toxic. And so the beautiful thing about your body is that it's tried to protect you from day one. So even just putting in the breast implants down the road, that can trigger breast implant illness. If you have multiple sets, you probably have multiple capsules and that can trigger breast implant illness also. Getting sick from anything, if you have a leak or a rupture, getting pregnant, and of course, traumatic events, stress, which, you know, our nervous system goes cray cray. And um, it's just really hard to bounce back from very high stressful events in general, and then add on just being sick, you know, I just wanted to share this with you because I did find it very interesting. There were a lot of common themes. And so, you know, again, just keep an eye on your body. And I would love to know below, especially if you're not on Facebook and you can't join that conversation, I would love to know below, like, what do you feel like triggered your breast implant illness? Was there something that happened that you went through? Um, and then after that, it just seems like all these symptoms started popping up and you haven't been able to recover or bounce back from that. Let me know below and I will see you on the next video.